I am now going to show you the disassembly of the Weihrauch HW80 or Beeman Air 1 uh, model. You may have noticed that I'm doing one thing differently, and this is that I dub in my voice. Uh, my alter ego is showing you the disassembly part, and I will comment on the um, work I do there, on the, on the work that my alter ego is doing there, or my two hands. I also want to say that if you're living in a country without power limits or power um, without power limit on air rifles, use a spring compressor. Um, in Germany, we have a power limit of air rifles for non weapon license owner of 7.5 joules or 5.5 foot pounds, and um, this way it's very easy to uh, remove the spring of so called. Um, high-powered air rifles or long-range air rifles. Um, if you are living in the United States or the Netherlands or s countries without power limits, Spain also, then I suggest that you use a spring compressor for disassembly and assembly. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to uh, to work on that rifle. Um, first of all I'm showing you the tools that you use or that you need to use. First of all the uh, 22 mm spanner a 3 mm punch and three different flathead screwdrivers and a rack or piece of cloth. You don't want to screw up on the air rifle like, sh like I show here and I've also removed the silencer before I even started so I'm now going to remove the stock this is the first step you need to do take off the stock screw off the two front screws very easy <laughs> don't need to explain this I think And after you have removed the two front screws, you need to remove the two, the two screws on the trigger guard. Work very carefully on the air rifle, you don't want any scratches. It will make you angry, trust me. Okay, last screw. and you can remove the trigger guard and take the stock off of the metal action. My stock sits very flush, very very tight, so I have to work a little bit on it, so it's now, the little work is now out. You can lay the stock aside now it's time to open the barrel, check if the rifle is loaded, unlo unloaded and uncocked. Then you need to, to you need to remove the trigger unit and you do this by punching out two pins. Punch them out from the right side. Just take your punch and use a, a, a big screwdriver as a hammer. Now the two pins are out and you can remove the trigger unit. Secure the um, safety pin by, uh, while you're doing this. You don't want to let it pop out. You can also remove the, the safety pin and now you need to unscrew the end piece of the 
of the chamber. This is a bit different than on the Weyroch HW95. You can do this with the 22mm spanner, wrap the cloth around the around the spanner head and place it inside the opening hole for the trigger unit and then give it a good whack with the screwdriver. We'll see in a few seconds. Yeah, used the wrong end of the spanner. Used the 20 instead of the 22 millimeter head. And now it's the right end. Place it inside the opening hole for the trigger unit. And also, you don't want to get the cloth between the end cap and the chamber. Now give it, give the spanner a good whack, and the end cap moved so far down that the spanner fell out on its own. Now you can unscrew the end cap by hand. It's very easy. And um, I want to say again, don't do this without spring compressor when you are living in a country without um, power limits, without a power limit on air rifles. On the 7.5 joule version it's very easy. So now you have unscrewed the end cap. You can put the end cap aside and remove the spring and spring guide. Now you want to remove the barrel from the steel cylinder. Unscrew the right screw on the pivot area first. Remove the washer and now you can screw out the pivot bolt from the left side. And you can take off the barrel from the steel cylinder. Also remove the two shims right there. Now you can take off the barrel. For some odd reason I can't detach the um, cocking shoe on my cocking arm, but on on your air rifle you should be able to um, remove the cocking shoe from the cocking arm. Now with the puncher, with the punch, remove the piston. You can take out the piston, and the air rifle is completely dis disassembled. Now showing you the steel cylinder in detail. And that's it. And you can do whatever you want to do now, or whatever you intended to do.